Okay, just thought I'd do another little quick uh, thing about Piccolo right here since he was probably one of the most expensive figures I've ever bought. Um, I mean, this guy has just got a ton of articulation. I mean, it, it is crazy. And they definitely tell they made a, a very well made product here. Um, I really can't think of a bad thing to say about it. Uh, the hands interchange. Um, he's got. He came with three different heads. He's got his cape. Um, his arms can pop off, so you can do like when he was battle damaged. He's just a really superb figure. Here's the some of the pieces it came with. Uh, there's the cloak. Uh, here's an extra head. It is just an all around, just a great figure. Um, my camera. Not really working too well. So there we go. Yeah, there's a good close up of his face. Um, I mean, these joints, the joints, how they did them was just, I think, was just really great. Uh, especially, I mean, compared to anything else you've seen uh, here in the States, it's Piccolo. I mean, this is really it. This is this is the best one by far. Uh, he fits in nicely with the other figures. A little bit shorter than you'd expect Piccolo to be, but from other reviews I've seen, he's actually the right size height taller than the Goku that came out in this series, so it actually works out pretty good. Um, if you can get your hands on this guy, it is definitely worth it. I mean, he is just a uh, he is just an awesome figure. I really can't think of a, a bad thing about it other than the price, which is uh, for one little toy. It's uh, really kind of steep, but I mean, you'll drop just as much as it on a video game. So instead of buying a crappy video game, just uh, buy a Piccolo. All right, that's it for now. See you guys later.